coaching now, I love it. I love talking to the players. I love watching growth. Uh, and now I can identify also when I see a player is maybe going through something off the court. You know, and I, I don't have the, the audacity to go up to them and be like, hey, I know you're struggling mentally. I'll ask them, how are you? How are you doing? What's just going on? Yeah. Open a conversation. Just open a conversation. And some of them might be like, I'm fine, I'm good. And they'll put up that front and that's great. It's not my business to go, no, 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 I know something's wrong. It's more of, okay, well, I'm here if you want to talk. Then others will come up to me and be like, yeah, you have a minute? And a minute turns into a 50-minute conversation. And so it's like, hey, we'll talk some more tomorrow. But how can I tie that in now with basketball? Because I'm like, hey, it's spilling over into the way you play. you're playing. Yeah. And, and so, you know, I, I, of course, everything is confidential, but... I have a couple of guys that like will talk to me here and there, and I, and you know I don't want to put it out there like I'm trying to dissect you every time we talk. It's just I went through a lot when I was playing, and maybe you're going through a lot when you're playing. If you want to talk, we can talk. You know, if we want to talk about basketball, we can talk about X's and O's. You want to talk about your personal life. You want to talk about what you're feeling, and I think that's the conversation I want to bring to athletes: is let's talk about your feelings. And a lot of people will look at it and go, "Oh, you're soft." And for me, I'm okay with that because as athletes, you try to put on this demeanor of like, I'm so tough and nothing bothers me. But I heard this thing about the, the NBA where they said a lot of the NBA players are so lonely because all they do is get on social media and they have this tight circle that's not really tight. Like I was reading this article and it was, I was like, well, that's totally me. Like, yeah. I remember that. Like, you feel like you don't really have any connection with people. So maybe that's what I'm trying to do with the players, is find connection. One more thing that you're working on right now is teaching kids with the junior NBA program. How big of an opportunity is that for you? I mean, to get to, you know, to get that lesson to youngsters, I mean, what, teenage players who are just starting to develop in basketball? Yeah, I mean, every time I coach them, it's always about positivity, high fives, you're doing great. Just because you didn't make the shot doesn't mean you're any less of a person. Just because you didn't make this particular team, you're not, and not any less of a person. So that's the message I want to send to the kids is keep going. You know, you might not get picked on this team. It could be the greatest thing that ever happened to you. Where I think there's too much entitlement today with the, with the young kids. You know, my son didn't make the team. What's going on? Let me talk to, you know, yeah. the athletic director or the coach or the principal. He needs to be playing. Whereas I look at it as it's an opportunity for growth because it's going to teach this child you're not going to get what you want all the time. So what are you going to do about it to adjust, to accept, to move forward? These are great lessons that we can teach. And, you know, it comes with positivity. I'm not going to, you know, embarrass a kid like, what's wrong with you? You didn't make the shot. Yeah. It's, hey, it didn't go in. Good try, though. Are you having fun? Are you smiling? Are we, you know, are we doing this together? And you're teaching these great lessons at a young age.